You already know what the fuck going on, man. I'll tie my do rag, but we gonna start anyways. Don't even worry about that. Oh, but we gonna go around the room. Everybody introduce themselves. Let them know where they can find you at. Let them know what you got going on. I'm gonna pour this champagne for everybody. So if you got a cup, pass it to me. And yeah, yeah. First, we boy DJ r and leader of that new generation. CEO of Four Phones EMT. Push you toward DJ Carolina Ways. Check me at the DJ r and everywhere. We make a move. It's your boy Madrid. Raleigh, North Carolina, man. Founder of Dreams of Children Music Group. I'm saying, just out here hustling, working. Uh, I go by the name of Camus Leonardo, aka Dangs. I'm just living life, bro. I seen on the internet a few days ago about this Drake is as big as Michael Jackson shit. How y'all feel about that? I have my own opinion, but I'm, I'm gonna keep my opinions to myself. How y'all feel about that? Just take sips I don't know, man. Drake, Drake's huge, dog. He is. He is. But Michael Jackson, bro. I mean, like, Michael Jackson, bro. Michael Jackson, you gotta understand. They said, they was talking about on the radio, and they said Michael Jackson had three number ones in four different decades. Yeah. Right. Over 40 years, bro. That's, that's my, that's my favorite. Like, that's a long time. Like, that's right. a long time. Like, MJ, MJ's my go, by the way, but he's a generational talent. Like, yeah, everybody knows. Like, and, like kids, kids these little days, little yeah, who wasn't exactly. even born when he was exactly. alive, like, know his music. Like, right, right. And plus, back in the day when you actually got a sell album, that's a lot different than streams. Right, yeah. Not that Drake is doing that, but yeah. anybody, you can spend $200 and you have. 100,000 Spotify streams. They don't yeah. mean like, yeah. not that Drake is, I think Drake is legit. He sells out arenas, but yeah. MJ was in stadiums. Like, Bro, like, like, this is my and thing though. Levels, like. Really, I feel like that level of celebrity don't exist no more because of the internet. Yeah, yeah, like, just that level of celebrity don't yeah. exist no more just yeah, because, yeah. like, now it's all about transparency. It's all about being close. Yeah. Like, we didn't know what the fuck Michael Jackson at was all. doing. Like, at ever. All. You know what I'm saying? Like, at all. Yeah. yeah. Like, the closest to that is, like, Beyonce. You never see. Like, he exactly. never, never had Beyonce. That's what I'm saying. Never. But it's like, Niggas on the internet now, like, it's all about, like, look at what I'm doing. I'm, yeah. I'm walking to the kitchen. I'm yeah. goddamn taking this shit. Like, yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, see, back in the day, Michael Jackson unfollowed Prince. We yeah, know, like, like, that's 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 like, it was Mace Harlem World okay. and DMX. It's dark and hella side. I got to work at the same time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. My two joints was um, Mad Villain. Okay. From uh, Mad Lib okay. and uh, Doom. Mm -hmm. And then Kanye's Late, late Registration. Late Registration. Okay. Yeah. 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 I want to say it was BG, Chopper City and Ghetto. Oh, that. I think yeah. that was my first okay. one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Oh, that's either that or first. was Little Way Dog for the first CD I remember getting was a single. This was back when you had a CD, you remember I had a single, then it had like a remix, then it had an yeah, instrumental yeah, yeah, with three yeah, tracks. Yeah, yeah. That's the first CD I remember buying, and it was Snoop Dogg, that Jenny Juice shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. True yeah. West Coast nigga, man. You know, so how, how hard is it? Do you think it's harder now to break through? you think it's was harder back then to break through? What you think? Uh, harder back then. Hard back then. I so feel like, you say yeah, back then? Cause I just feel like back then it was more so a word of mouth, mm. and like if you rap or whatever you do, you had to put your talents like out on the spot right yeah. then and there. Like, let me see what you got. Versus people like, oh, let me check your Instagram, see how many followers or how many plays you got. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's so many people out here who may not have a follower, who may not have the plays, but have the talent. Right? Exactly. Right. Yeah. So I would say back then. Yeah, I, I think about like the combo honestly, cause okay. like. Cause like back then, like you can you can sell a CD and make ten dollars a pot right there. Right, right. These days, you only get about three cents per thousand streams. So, like, Man, that's so true. like, and it, and that shit like it's hard to get that. Even if you buy fake shoes, you don't get paid for the shit. Yeah. So you can stand on the corner in a busy city, sell thirty CDs, you make three hundred bucks. You can reinvest into your business to your craft right. and push yourself. Yeah. These days, you gotta have another hustle to fund that shit because right. the money ain't there right it's now. Um, I don't know. I say back then, you it said was a little like it was easier. I mean, no, it's easier to break through now yeah. than it was back then. Oh, but like you know, like you said back then, it was a little more, it was a little more stability. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, you can move CDs, you can do shows, you 
was good. You know what I'm saying? It was a lot more hand to hand. I feel like it's easier to look like you got it now. Yeah, you, you can definitely fake it a lot. That's what I feel like it is. I feel like, I feel like back then, yeah. niggas would be like, oh, rap. Right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, rap yeah, right now. Right now. Yeah, yeah. But you can never rap for somebody and tell them you a rapper, and niggas would be like, oh, okay. Yeah, that'd be it. Like, it would be no, you wouldn't have to prove yeah. that. You would just say it, and niggas would be like, yup. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just how it go now. It's just different. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, how do y'all feel about independent versus major? Is that is that something that you think about? Is that something that you ponder? Do you think independent is the way to go? You think you still reaching for that major label status? What you think is the benefits on it? Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm a big, I'm a big fan of independence. Me too. I'm a big fan of like putting the groundwork. Yeah. You know, like, still building your core. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? More than everything. I'm yeah. a huge fan of that, so I go independent every day. Okay. Right. 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 Personally, I go independent, but I also think it's subjective too. Mm -hmm. You got people out here. May not like have the knowledge to do everything outside of being an artist. Mm -hmm. They may not know how to wear those hats. You feel me? Yeah, so yeah. if you play it smart, you could do a partnership versus like just signing a motherfucker. But personally, I want to go the independent route because mm -hmm. I just feel like you know people like us, we understand it takes time. Mm -hmm. You know that it's going to be a while, but it's going to be worth the wait. Right. A lot of people nowadays, especially with like instant gratification, it's easy to understand. Yeah, I mean, so, right. but yeah. independent though. Yeah, sure. okay. yeah like I'm a DJ, so I'm not an artist, but I do right. manage artists. Yeah. And I actually tell them like it's a combination. Independent sounds good until you realize everything costs money. <laughs> you wanna be in blogs, money. Yeah. You wanna be in radio rotation, money. You mm -hmm. wanna tour, money. Yeah. You want merchandise, money. Yeah. So unless you got a huge bag, like yeah. If you get, if Sony knock on the door, offer you $30 million, take the shit. Fuck it. I told him, like, yeah. you can be independent after, after you do the contract albums, you got a million in the bank, then do your independent shit. But yeah. in the day, everything, everything costs money. Yeah. Like, everything, everything costs and money. And I think, and I think we gotta, as independent artists and as people that's working on it, we gotta kill that narrative that, like, like, this shit don't, ain't expensive. Like, yeah, I don't yeah. know, you know what I'm saying? I don't yeah. know where that came from or yeah. why people think that's a fact. It's just like, like, you know, the Karen Silver situation, right? Everybody, yeah. Yeah. Everybody's all surprised, like, oh my God, niggas be paying their way into the industry. Like, hell yeah, that's everywhere. That's what, 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 what is happening, bro? Like, yeah, that's that's like, everywhere, yeah. I, yeah. I was so cool. confused by that shit because niggas was really yeah, mad. Like, like, I'm like, like yeah. uh, I'm like, what you? Like, yeah. How you do this work, bro? <laughs> like, you think niggas just like, oh yeah, I like you. I'm about to go tell yeah, every cool. radio station about yeah, you. Like, like nah. no. Everything right? close. You want to be in a breakfast club? Yeah. yeah. Everything like, is about money. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. Wild, but everything, yeah. everything is about money. Yeah, right. and I think, and like I said, I think it's up to like artists that are on the grind to really like dispel that information. Like, yeah. because I feel like the niggas before us, they ain't tell us that. Like, yeah. niggas ain't tell me like, oh, bro. Everything like yeah, anything like, like everything all this shit costs like, money. Just, just yeah, work, just work, yeah just work, like work, niggas really out. made us think like, oh, expensive. we can just stay in the studio twelve yeah. hours a day, right. yeah. record as much as we can, and right. somehow, yeah. some <laughs> fucking <laughs> genie is gonna pop out a speaker. Yeah. Goddamn, yeah. you you famous now. Right. You know even like, like the artists I manage and stuff, I'm very well connected. I got a good network. Yeah. So I'm like, dude, I can cut some corners. Yeah. Right. Everything's still money. <laughs> Every people like I'm tight with, but I got it. I want to get on this platform. Blah blah blah. Yeah. Cool, two fifty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> every, yeah. every day costs yeah. money. Man. The worst part for me is like when you think when you when you do something right and you yeah. feel like you got to a next level and there's still you still yeah. gotta pay somebody yeah. else. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. I, I, I now, I was yeah. Done. now you just pay the next boss. Yeah, I <laughs> thought I was done with it, yeah. but you still gotta pay more people. Yeah. So yeah, man, bro, like. And I even going cap, bro. Like I used to be that artist back then where I was so against like paying for shit. Yeah. I was just like, man, I'm gonna do it. I ain't gotta pay for shit. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm stagnant as fuck. Like, yeah. I'm like sitting there like, damn, don't know like what. Yeah. Like, I was one of them back yeah. then, you know what I mean? Yeah. So then when I evolved and I saw like, oh, these are investments. Yeah. yeah. And people will take you more seriously yeah. and see like you about your yeah. shit. Right. I was like, damn, yeah. Right. respect. Yeah. 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 I mean, now I will say from the outside looking in. Yeah. Don't pay everybody. Some people oh, are no, all no, 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 no. You can't pay everybody. Yeah, 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 people in LA, I'm going to just like, they, they, they're going to hate me for saying this, but I say, I'm, I'm, I'm really against pay for play, like paying to perform. Yeah, unless yeah, yeah. the outlet is really that big. Right. If you're just paying to perform at some hood spot with just artists, that's yeah. what you're wasting your money, <laughs> wasting your time. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Now, if they say we can get you at PNC, then yeah. shit, take the money, because yeah. that's worth it. That's a mm -hmm. big crowd. Like, yeah. you got to be. Do your research. Don't just pay anybody. Definitely nah, do your for research. sure. Definitely yeah. don't just Definitely pay anybody. Because niggas will take your money. Skinny nigga, but I like it. Yeah.
Pass away, don't let my feet look. I see no way you talking and tweets. I want the same energy when we meet, yeah.